<laughs> Did a whole freaking rant. Didn't record it. Gavin Wright's low a-hole. Anyways, I'd like you to pay you another Clary original video to be posted on your YouTube channel. Let me know what it will cost, and I will get the money to you. Respectfully, Gavin. All right. Today, boys and girls, I'm going to explain to you guidance counselors. Okay. Uh, and these are, they need to be targeted. We need, uh, we need to single them out because wise focus teachers, right? But then you go to the guidance counselor right? and the guy guidance counselor, completely worthless. Doesn't do a darn thing. And I don't have that much experience with the guy. I went to one guidance counselor one time and she said the reason, uh, bullies three to one. And also who had 50 pounds on me were picking on me is because I probably did something. It's never, oh, they're dicks. Never that. Nope. It's it's a, And that was it. And now I realized, okay, guidance counselors are about as helpful as teachers and parents in that regard. Okay. And then, so that's that's your kind of, your failed librarian, if it's a gal. Uh, she's not going to cut it as librarian. I know, put her in guidance counseling, but she doesn't have a degree. Well, she doesn't need a degree. She has a degree in library science or education, or whatever worthless potpourri of BS you guys uh, qualify for in the school. And then and then when the pro when the, there's real problems, have her ignore them, all right? And then, then blame the children. Say, oh, you might have a touch of the tism or ADHD or the hit, the hit. Uh, here's, I'm going to recommend you go to other frauds called psychologists. All right, <clears throat> because their study, I dare don't call it a science, their study has no veracity whatsoever. <clears throat> and we're going to screw you up chemically, psychologically, making you think as a 5, 10, 12 year old boy that there's something wrong with you. Uh, and then and then as an added bonus, as a failed librarian, uh, mousy little woman, uh, I'm going to recommend you just follow your heart and the money will follow. And that's that's it. So before I go on to empirical proof, guidance. <clears throat> the other type are these weirdo 30-something men. And they kind of got a Mr. Rogers feel. And they got maybe the 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 patches on their jacket. I, I don't know. And the only time I had an experience with one of them is when we had a neighborhood friend who, who was going to treatment at 12. <clears throat> so if you want to help out this guy, you he, you came and talked to this therapist counselor guy. And I remember so like, we you know, we're like 12, 13, littler boys. And he leans over and rolls up his sleeve. So, yes, yeah, so your buddy's kind of effing up. And we're like, oh, wow. You said the F word, mister. Well, you're you're so cool. Oh, wow. Like, I totally want to trust you. But by the time you're 12 or you're 13, if you're smart, you know, the teachers and this entire treatment School, prison, academia, they're all your enemy. If you're not a teacher's pet, you know not to trust the adults. And this guy, I know this guy. This Gosh, 30-some years later, homeless. Homeless and um, crack or drug, some kind of addict. Criminal record. And this is this is my point about the guy's college. Whether it's the mousy librarian lady who couldn't, his failed librarian, or if it's, hey, man. Well, hey, you gonna break out an acoustic guitar? Maybe, maybe say, man, man, I do pot on the side. Yeah, I'm cool like you can, like you guys, right? Whether it's one of those, isn't the kind of empirical proof right now that all guidance counselors failed at their job and are currently failing now? Because I don't think your strategies have changed, has it? I don't think your record. Hey, yeah, you gotta go into STEM, man. Don't don't go into liberal arts. Don't do what I did. You go. You want to make money. But I, I would love to see guidance counselors defend themselves now. I, I'd love to see it where <clears throat> you tell me with what, I don't know, 25, 50 million, not so young kids anymore, but adults are begging for student loan bails. Didn't you tell them foul heart money will follow? Didn't you all like meet with the teachers, parents? All right, we all agree we hate the children and we all love ourselves more. We don't want to be inconvenienced by having a hard conversation explaining economics to children, right? Right. Well, you don't because you're the dad. You're too, you don't want to, you're going to get divorced anyway. Right. Okay. So we all agree. We hate the children. I'm just going to go with follow your heart and the money will follow. We agree on that. And if we all present the same front, they're going to believe us. And then they'll enrich our higher education compatriots over in, in colleges and universities. And we get them all vote Democrat. Right. Good. All right. Who cares about their mental health or their financial success? 
So now we got one point, however many tens, at least tens of millions of students requiring student loan bailout. Well, shouldn't you have gotten guidance? I mean, the, the, this I saw this while I was starting. Okay, so I got my uh, invisible hand fashion mug right here. Okay, there's computer science, the theology. See, then you become a pr law lawyer, criminal justice, become a cop, and then the liberal arts. Is this joke not old enough yet? Do you guidance when you you guidance counsel? Have you, is anyone recommending the trades? Have any of you heard of micro? Are you still doing the same old trope? Follow your heart, money will follow. Follow your heart, money will follow. <clears throat> and then, see, because I don't know, I know you're a failed librarian or kind of a pedophile guy who likes to roll up his sleeves and get down with the kids. Hey, man, I'm cool like you guys. Got my hat on backwards. Yeah. <clears throat> Shouldn't the mental health of all the kids the past two, three, two and a half generations, shouldn't it be a lot better now? Should there be less people on Ritalin and antidepressants and social anxiety disorder and all that other stuff? Oh, they're not, huh? And and they, and this once again, I whether you're a therapist, guidance counselor, counselor, therapist, whatever, all right, y'all failed. You're worthless. I'm going to change lives. Yeah, for the worst. Quite literally, everyone in education, whether you're a teacher, guidance counselor, uh, post, whatever, the, the creepy guy at the rehab fa uh, facility, uh, you guys don't change lives. So there you change it for the worst. And oh, I know you guys are like, well, they don't care, Cappy. They just want their money. They really, they really don't mind abusing children and lying and misleading children so they don't have to work 12 months a year. They get their summers off. They get to their little pension, their overpaid side, and then they and whatever other benefits they get. They don't care about the kids. I get it, but don't sit there for the guidance counselors. Don't you guys I love to see guidance counselors defend their performance the past three generations? I would love to see it. And just so you know, until you explain why you misled so many people to major in worthless slop and why mental health is decaying in the United States, I don't believe you. You haven't done yet. And don't give me the leftist troll. It would have been a lot worse. No, 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 no. You're making things worse because you guys are failing at your job and you're disgusting, despicable people. You do not care about the children. You're evil people, just like all the other teachers. And I am not here to make guidance counsel. You can't make evil people feel bad. They know what they're doing. Deep down inside, they know they don't care about the children. They just want an easy job and to avoid work and math. That's it. And they don't give a damn if they ruin three, four, five generations of children's lives. They don't care. What I'm trying to do by not cursing is to warn you kids. Whether that's, you know, I don't know, probably shouldn't be listening to this at eight years old, though this video, yes. But when you're in high school, don't listen to your guidance counselors. Unless it's some grizzled now Iraq vet who's seen it and says, yeah, kid, go into the trades. And it corroborates what the real world is saying and labor statistics and economics. All right. I was like, no, you're not. You're not depressed. You just don't work out. Like, okay, trust that guy or gal, whatever gal's going to say that. Right. But in general, you never trust your guidance counselor. Your guidance counselor is lying to you. Your guidance counselor doesn't know. Let's, okay, another thing. Do you ever notice how your guidance counselors are all weaklings? Like they've never accomplished anything in life. What'd you do? I went to school since five years old. Yeah. Then I continued going to school. Yeah. Until I was 25 years old. Yeah. Then I did post-secondary study. Yeah. Until I was 27 years old. So for over a quarter century, you sat in school. Yeah. And then I told people what there was wrong with them. You have no real, you've never even set foot outside of school. You don't, you have no real world experience. How, how can you possibly tell little kids what's wrong with them? Yo, well, I studied. No, 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 no. That's science. Hey, kids, another thing. Look up the, was it veracity? Validity crisis? I think it's of the liberal arts, but certainly psychology. They did like a, they tried to repeat a bunch of psychological studies and they found out they could only repeat, I think it's a third of them. It was certainly a minority of them. Well, what does that mean? What means that's not real science? It means it's fraudulent. I mean, heck, astrology, you probably got a higher rate of, 
of predictability there. <clears throat> Blackjack, you're more likely to win statistically. But roulette, same thing. But these therapists, these psychologists, these guidance coaches, they don't know anything. And they're probably the worst people to take advice from because they suck at life. They did, We don't even know if they suck at life because they haven't done it. They've lived in this artificial environment. After 27, what do they do? They go right back to a school and, oh, I know everything, mystical. Have you ever noticed how the, okay, so you got the failed librarian type, right? Then you got the creepy guy rolling up his sleeves, 34-year-old bachelor, likely a virgin, right? Then you got the chakra crystal hippie woman. Did you guys ever have that as a guidance counselor? You're going to trust that crazy lady with her cats? So here, now I can't help you with your psychological problem. I probably should have put it in the description. I got two references for you, okay? Since guidance counselors presumably do career guidance, even though their careers suck and they're constant parasites on the taxpayer and they don't produce a lick of GDP, all right? Get the book linked down below called, matter of fact, I got a cup. No, I don't have a cup. Here it is. <clears throat> Worthless. Young person's indispensable guide to choosing the right major. While you're being forced to take a bunch of classes you don't want, why don't you read this book? It's not that long. And this will help guide you in figuring out what you should or should not major in. Or trade school or the military, whatever. Okay, you don't have to go to college. Matter of fact, it's preferable you don't. Look up the statistics. This is going to be more of Right here. <clears throat> this thing, this piece of paper is more valuable than all the guidance counselors in the entire country. You say, that's a bold claim. No, it's not. Not one guidance counselor has any value. You know, a zero times a million is still zero. <laughs> Same thing, like, you know, my, my book, uh, what do I have a copy of? Black Man's Guide Out of Poverty? I don't have a copy of it. My, my book has done more to get uh, black people out of poverty than the Democrat Party. Like, well, that's a pretty bold statement. No, it's not. Democrat Party hasn't gotten any black people out of poverty. If anything, they made it worse. Not a high hurdle here to beat these guidance counselors. <clears throat> Worthless, young person's indispensable guide to choose the right major. And then if you actually do have like some mental issues, why don't you go to his therapist.com? I don't know if he takes on younger people. All right. But maybe talk to your parents. I mean, that in, in, in theory, in the ideal world, you should have been able to go talk to your parents or you talk to your older sibling. You start with your family. Have you noticed how the schools don't want family involved? How you notice like, oh, God, talk to a therapist. How about I talk to my dad? Although unless he's got the problem, then, yeah, if there's problems at home, then I guess you got to go to the therapist. But you cannot trust your guidance counselors. They, they don't know. They're morons. They're lazy. That's what drives them. They don't ultimately care about you. They care about not just a paycheck, an easy paycheck. And it is reflective in how little street knowledge and real world knowledge they have. And they are the only thing they can do is misguide you. They cannot help you. They're going to lie to you. And that's why we got people demanding $1.5 to get bailed out of their student loans. That's why everybody, well, not the only reason, there's many more reasons for it. That's why, oh, didn't you guide them? Didn't you talk to the, the school counselor and the therapist? Well, why is everybody mentally ill? Oh, that's right. Their psychology isn't a real science. So there you go. <clears throat> Any super chats early this morning? DJ D. Brady, 725 bucks. How much blame should be placed on high schools for encouraging college? In 2012, they sent me to the slaughterhouse. Now I have an IT program. Um, it's it's not just high schools. They should certainly be blamed because your teachers recommended this. But don't forget, you can't forget your parents. And now you got Gen X, young Gen X raising kids. Heaven help you. Everyone thinks Gen X is cool. No, they are not. We just suck less than all the other generations right now. And not by a lot. We're not great. And we're making the same mistakes. There's no dads, divorce, broken homes, kids born out of wedlock, no dad to sit you down. Hey, let me explain to you how the real world works. No, no. They're just passing on the same. And I've seen it because I see parents my own age. She's just finding herself. Uh, I sent my kid to major in journalism over at Carlton, which is not Carlson. There's a school called Carlton down in Northfield, that's where the rich, truly worthless suburban I kids go to imagine they're really intelligent. 
uh, it's Carleton College down in Northfield. Atham, look it up. Um, no, it's it's all the it's the adults. Don't you guys get it? Does anyone read Calvin and Hobbes? The adults are your enemy. They don't want to help you. Your parents don't want to raise you. Your dad doesn't want to. I mean, at least Calvin's dad tried to instill some sense. At least Calvin had an ideal world where mom and dad were still married. And the parents invested and they loved the child. All right. But didn't you notice how we, Mrs. Wormwood, Calvin was against Mrs. Wormwood, his teacher, the principal, spaceman Spiff going up against the adult industrial complex. I don't mean the prawn either. The adults are the enemy and above all. T- now, I'm not trying to like alienate you from your parents, but especially when you're 14 or older and now all of a sudden your grades kind of maybe start to matter in high school. And you got to figure out which way you're going to go. This pie in the sky poppycock that your teachers, your, your guidance counselors, your parents even, and certainly the media and certainly the Democrat Party, not to bring politics into it, but you ain't getting no Republican propaganda at the schools, I bet. All come in and lie to you. So it's so yeah, blame the high schools, blame the middle schools, blame the teachers, blame the guidance counselors, blame the principals, blame that whole apparatus. But but understand the nature of that apparatus was to basically, and, and this is not, <laughs> tell me I'm wrong, the whole point of K through 12 is babysitting. So your parents can both go work and buy things. That's it. That's the whole point of it. Here's what, we got to homeschool. What percent of your parents are going to homeschool you? Want to pay property taxes and you babysit my kid? Here you go. That's the primary reason. Secondary reason, enrich teachers and employees. Third reason, brainwash you guys to vote Democrat. Fourth reason, then you get to education. So the high school, by its nature, is there to indoctrinate you, get you to go to college, spend a lot more money. But they're not to tell you the truth. Well, why don't they teach? Why don't they teach financial planning in school? Well, one, the teachers are too stupid to know it. And two, if they taught you what it was like, what you had to do financially, and then you learned about taxes, then they, you wouldn't vote Democrat. And yes, it is that simple. Any teacher could come in and tell me otherwise, but ain't no one going to believe you. <clears throat> That's why everyone has to go to college twice. I did a video on it. Uh, there's another super chat. Here we go. 20 generous Australian dollars. Look at that guy. He's an American Australian. Tom Longley, 20 Australian dollars. Thanks, Cappy. This needs to be etched in granite. Vocational courses were for dummy dummies and all the bright kids were pushed towards university and all the dummies are pulling in six figures. Yep. As I recall down under, they say tradies get the ladies, don't they? And that's interesting about Australia. I know Australia is now essentially a prison colony again. <laughs> Um, but the tradesmen down there, they're sought after both, uh, financially, obviously through economic compensation. Um, but culturally women are like, Ooh, I want myself a welder or a plumber. Why? Cause the Australian women are just a little bit smarter than uh, American women. Cause they know like, Hey, he makes the money, but, but he's a plumber and he sticks. Yeah. But he'll shower and he's a good provider. I don't know, but maybe they just like guys with big trucks. Who knows? Uh, but the, the trades are celebrated. Down there. That's it. That's it. All right. More on the way. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.